So I'm out here on 34th Street, no, 33rd and 7th Avenue. Place is usually very crowded, um, empty as you can see, very, very minimum people. And it's always an eerie feeling. You know, you feel like you're in a movie, which you think is about to end with a happy ending. And we will hope that this ends with a happy ending. But right now, this does not look anywhere like it's gonna end anytime soon. So, just to give you a little eye view of what this looked like. On any normal, regular day, you would see thousands and thousands upon thousands of people walking down the street no matter if it's cold or hot you will see thousands of people walking down the street trying to get to their place of business you know this is not the case I couldn't see that you would speak you would make up Right now you find me on 42nd Street. As you can see, everything is closed. This place is usually 24-7, 365 days a year. As of today, we're still going through this quarantine and everything is closed. No money coming in, no money coming out. planned out I'll tell you that it's planned out planned out it's planned out no doubt oh yeah it came out of nowhere feel no me doubt. No doubt. it's only affecting certain people I don't know I think it's fishy though I think it's, I think fishy, it's fishy I agree with you on that one yeah All right, no doubt, All right, bro. Have, have a, a good, good one. one yeah see we gotta we gotta catch people out here in the street and see what you know what they think about this whole thing like you know you have individuals saying, you know, it's planned out. They think this is fishy, this is sketchy. It just seems very questionable. You know, you gotta ask yourself questions. You can't just take, you know, what the media is telling you. You gotta ask yourself some questions and see, you know, where, where, where those questions are gonna lead. And usually those questions lead all the way down the rabbit hole. You can't just accept everything you hear from the news. You know? I mean, that's my view. I don't know what your view is, but that's my view. I'm just not hearing everything I'm accepting from the news. intelligent answer I don't live in fear I live in faith and I live my life what do you say what do you think if if God wants the COVID-19 virus 
to come and attack you and put your life out of his misery, it is only up to God's judgment for it to come and take over. If it's not, if God says it's not your time to go, then it's not your time to go. My man said, don't live in fear. Don't live in fear. You know, which is a good thing. You don't want to live in fear. But I also say, take care of yourself. You know, uh, do your exercise, eat healthy. Don't stay home because, you know, we're in quarantine and eat everything in the refrigerator. So do everything in moderation. You know, your vitamin C, your juices, your natural juices. You know, as I say, you go back to the jungle, you think about things that people used to use in the jungle and you can research it right online. These stairs, those stairs are never empty, ever. There's always a thousand people out here. E even if the stairs are closed, there's always a thousand people out here packing this place up. So this is nothing to take lightly. You know, I said, I gotta come out here and just, just record this, you know, just really experience this experience that people are talking about how how lonely this place is right now. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. What, what, what? what, what do Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. What do you think about this corona thing? I really think it's all the placebo. If you could believe anything of a sugar pill doing anything for you, by all means, don't let this shit stipulate your mind. So as you can see, I was out in Times Square. It looks very eerie, you know, to the highest level. I mean, I've never seen Times Square like this, where a, a place that is usually vibing, is usually always open, is usually for, to, full of tourists. And I was lucky if I came across maybe four people walking down the street. You're lucky if you see five. The only individuals that I saw working out there are the construction workers, because you know those are what they call essential workers. Um, things still got to continue being built. But when it comes to this this epidemic, I, I hold a lot of questions. Um, I see as a suspect. I have to say that because this is affecting the world. Um, when it affects the world, we have to question what's going to be next. Is it going to be that we have to take a vaccine mandatory? Because they're they're putting a lot of fear in the news. They're trying to tell people that you know if you don't if you don't take this, it's going to happen to you. You know this is what I'm hearing. Um, experimental drugs, things of that nature. So watch how this may play out. They may say that you're going to have to take this vaccine in order to work, in order to go to school, in order to travel. I've noticed that certain states are closing the door to New Yorkers because they're saying, you know, this is one of the most highest affected cities when it comes to the, the epidemic, when it comes to the coronavirus that is affecting a much greater amount of people than any other state. And they're saying that New Jersey is second. So if you see people picking and choosing, um, I can go this way, I can go that way, it's going to get very interesting. <laughs> So one of the things I love is outdoors, like natural nature. And I come out here once in a while, especially now during this whole situation that's going on with this uh, coronavirus. And you can come out here and you can meditate and 
you can just hear the birds. Let me take off the headphones. And you just feel at one with nature. I mean, look how free the birds are. I don't know if you can hear them, but they are definitely enjoying their freedom. This floor, it's a little wet, but it's doable. It's a nice little pond here. Um, now you can see I got my crystal wand. This is called an amber. One of my good friends who is a gemtologist sent me this. You know, I, I, I had uh, called them and told them I want something for protection. I tell them exactly, you know, what I was looking for, something for balance, something for energy. And he says, I got the perfect thing for you. And ain't this beautiful? It's a beautiful piece and I'm definitely grateful to him. But uh, look at this. You can't beat this tranquility. And you know, with all this going on in the world globally, it just lets you know how important tranquility is, how important being at peace, you know, how important is loving one another, not being so, you know, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. And this is one of the things that this, this whole experience reminds me of when individuals, they just want to, oh, it's all mine, it's all mine. They want to hog up everything and they want to get caught up in just looking cute instead of um, trying to help one another. You know, trying to be there for one another because in the end, you can't take nothing with you. In the end, is a value that you gave others, not just yourself. It's how did you show up for others? And I, and I, and I tell people, even those individuals that you haven't spoken to in a long time, it reminds you that life is short that anything can happen. So those people that you haven't spoken in a long time is a good idea to reach out to them. You know, put those things to the side and just say, I was thinking about you and I wanted to give you a call and just to let you know, you know, take good care of yourself. You know, those words of wisdom, you know, you can say, you know, even though things have not always been perfect, just want to let you know that I have your story. Those words don't hurt anyone. It, 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 and, it, and it causes a ripple. I always say a ripple in the universe because that one person may be grateful. That one person, I always tell people when you go to sleep, who are you? When you go to sleep, you're by yourself. And those thoughts that you're thinking is just you by yourself. No one else is there. So let me ask you, you know, how are you dealing with all of this thing? I'm, you know, some may say it's a, it's a dumb question, but it's an important question. You know, it's an important question. I, when people ask me how I'm dealing with it, you know, I told, often tell people I'm doing my best to take care of myself as I always have. I'm doing my exercise. I'm drinking my natural juices. I'm meditating as much as possible. But exercise is important. You want, to, you want to make sure that you build your immune system. You want to be this thing is a little muddy here. I wanted to walk here, but it's too muddy. So as I was saying, you want to make sure you build your immune system. And how I do that, you know, I, I, I take my vitamin C, I do my natural juices at home. A lot of people, you, you can Google different things that'll you know, work for you, that'll benefit to you. Um, and that's how I'm doing this. I'm taking my natural <laughs> nature, I call it natural, but my nature walk. You know, things, whoa, this is a little wet. I just felt it. And so I'm taking my little walk here and I'm like, whoo.
what I found. I don't know what this is. It looks like a, I can't even make it out. Look like a sword or something. And it's, it has some weight on it. It's pretty heavy. Ugh. Let's throw it back where it belongs. Because it was not, it was not bothering no one. It's probably somebody's, uh, some XX home. It's like, why are you doing bothering my home? A beautiful butterfly enjoying nature. Let me put on my, this uh, sun is getting on me. This is what I'm about. Let's get this hill going. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, uh. Uh. Someone asked me, what is the name of this place? I don't even know. I've been coming here a couple of times. Um, it has no name. Just a place to come and relax. I'll call it the relaxation place. <laughs> The meditation place, the harmonious place. Give it a few names. Give it a name. 